Hello, I am Silvio, Silvio Micali. I'm the founder of Algorand and a faculty member at MIT. Hi, I'm Navita Sonola, head of engineering at Algorand. And uh, the reason we uh, brought uh, Algorand to the marketplace is that uh, we saw uh, blockchains to have a tremendous potential. However, uh, blockchains remained for a very long time aspirational. There was not in a total disconnect with the technology. Therefore, we decided to somehow start from scratch and develop a totally new approach to blockchains so that you can have a, a blockchain that is truly decentralized, truly scalable, and uh, truly secure. Algorand is a blockchain, a new blockchain. It's, uh, like we also just said, starting from scratch, using uh, you know, first principles, and one of the uh, core new uh, functionalities is the ability to evolve in place. So because Algorand brings uh, about a truly decentralized, secure, and scalable blockchain, the big business model is to start with a true medium of exchange and uh, evolving it uh, into a borderless uh, economy. So, so somehow we want to build an economy in which everybody can participate, and actually everybody gets the rewards for participation, unlike Bitcoin, when only miners get some rewards. And we want to enable opportunity for all. So mass participation, for instance, uh, to very sophisticated financial tools. The democratization of uh, finance is one of the main goals of Algorand. And a high, uh, a high tide rises all ships, so Algrand will uh, benefit when we all benefit. Well, our uh, fundamental belief is that we really want is a participation. We really want to have a community of participants in which everybody is treated fairly and everybody has the ability to participate. Beta, we sustain this by having you know, a technology that lowers the bar for participation. And uh, we are going to have a community that actually can decide on its own destiny. Uh, we are going to have uh, a unique consensus protocol that allows us not only to agree on the next block, but actually to agree on the next desiderata that the community should satisfy. Because the needs of the community will evolve and we want to have uh, Algorand to be able to evolve. So we are going to have a massive vote and progress being intrinsic to the Algorand project. So yes, yeah, so to reiterate, uh, our values are definitely, we want to apply the best technology, but we want to enable the con community to control the destiny of the project. It is a project we think the world will participate in. It's not our grand's project. Well, I'm Silvio, the founder. I'm Naveed, head of engineering. And here we have a... Um, <laughs> My assistant, Nicoline, which is really <laughs> precious. And we are going to be able to recruit. We started by having, you know, initially 11 uh, uh, people in Algorand, eight of which were from MIT, a PhD from MIT, and are very dear colleagues of mine that I selected universally. And um, strange enough, right now, we even have uh, one uh, team member, our chief economist, who has two PhD from MIT. One is from computer science under my guidance a long time ago, and then became, uh, got a PhD in economics. So on the executive side, there is um, uh, Stephen Kokinos, who has been a very energetic, uh, visionary technologist, who, are, who has actually been a successful entrepreneur several times over. And he has founded a successful company in the Web 1, then in the Web 2, and now in uh, the Web 3. On the development side, we've attracted top talent from Google, Microsoft, Mozilla, and Apple, and we're you know, really excited to have a team of uh, amazing uh, technologists paired with amazing uh, um, researchers, so we're able to build uh, really anything we need. And in particular, Navid was uh, at Mozilla responsible for WebAssembly, which was a very huge success, and we are going to need his expertise to bring our new concept about you know, smart contracts to our platform. And, so, and by the way, so, so much talent, really our challenge is to uh, coalesce and channel so much energy. And uh, I think that uh, we are very happy to have you know, uh, Sean Ford with us as our CEO, who has really been uh, invaluable in uh, enabling so much energy to be properly challenged and sustain our growth. But in 2019, we are going to launch as a, uh, as a currency. But it's going to be a bit more than the usual currency. 
So if you look at Bitcoins, it's going to be simply an asset. It's a, it's a way where to put your money and hopefully that uh, increases in value. We are going to be finally a medium of exchange. And uh, simultaneously with our currency, we are going to bring uh, a Dutch auction, massive Dutch auctions uh, into our platform from day one, because these are going to be the way in which we are going to sell uh, our tokens uh, once a uh, main net launch. And um, immediately thereafter, we are going to have all kinds of other uh, um, um, improvements, both uh, on the applications available and actually on the participation. That's correct. Uh, we are victims of our own success at Augrand. Uh, the protocol is very, very fast. And as a result, we generate a blockchain that grows um, more rapidly than any other. So one of the first things we're going to tackle immediately after our launch is a way to uh, have random access blockchain. Uh, um, so it's possible to uh, make it so you can participate without having terabytes of a blockchain around. Additionally, we're looking at advanced key um, management strategies. So multi-sig and other um, technologies can be used to secure your uh, finances. Um, and we want to be developer friendly at all points. Um, so right from the get-go, um, deep APIs and um, other ways of accessing our technology will be possible. But some of these projects, of course, among other developers, will develop ourselves and will bring uh, uh, to the platform really smart, smart contracts. Because if you notice so far, uh, in some other project, uh, cannot sustain simultaneously one ICO and the birth of a crypto kittens. So we are going to be as uh, innovative about smart contracts as we've been innovative about our um, consensus protocol. That is a great future. At this peak, actually, in my opinion, the market was down because uh, a truly decentralized and scalable blockchain should uh, secure assets in the trillions of dollars. And I believe that it is not only this financial opportunity, but actually the opportunity to really generate a common knowledge and trust and allow for disintermediation. If you look at how much money we leave on the table right now to trusted third parties who want to be paid very dearly for their services, I think we, we can actually lift all ourselves up and uh, I think it is going to be an exciting and bright future. Uh, I think Silvio is completely correct and very optimistic about uh, crypto's future. Uh, the disintermediation issue is a big one. Right now the world's uh, economy is about 80 trillion um, GDP and 6% uh, of that is wasted in transaction fees. Being able to eat into that at all in any fashion could bring back $5 trillion. Um, and that's one use case. There's so many use cases that we have only begun to explore. Financial use cases, um, securing documents, just um, allowing different in industries to connect but having, without having some sort of central authority be in the way.